Hi guys, Nikki here. Um, just popping on to say I'm still here. I'm still about. It's just been very hectic. Um, I just thought I'd get something up on my YouTube and my IGTV. I'm going to try, as I've been watching a lot of these, and I was meant to try and remember to credit people, but I'll put it in the description. Um, a lot of people have been doing these reverse acrylic, uh, reverse dip spiral pour things and some of them are absolutely amazing and I really, really wanted to give it a go. Um, it's been in my head for a few weeks and I thought I've got to get this done. So I have my canvas, just a... Uh, I'll tell you what size it is now, because I've forgotten. So it's an eight by eight, eight inch by eight inch, uh, primered, <clears throat> stretched canvas, all prepped and ready, taped at the back with some little pins. Obviously the paint's not on here, the paint is on this, this is a, uh, a black bag. Here is the paint. So the colours I am using are, let's see, this is Amsterdam Acrylics Permanent Red Violet. Now I know the paint's got to be, <coughs> excuse me, a different consistency for these and it's, <laughs> you meant to do a, a nice swirl around. So that's the permanent red violet. That is this permanent red violet. The next color is quinacridone, quinacridone magenta. Always get that word. This is a lovely color. I'm really sure it's quite thin. And that is by Golden. Um, two seconds. So that's by Golden. I only have these little ones. Uh, amazing, but these are quite fluid. Um, so that's that. I forgot to say also, I am using each of my, I'm not using my own mixed for this because obviously it's a different from a pour or a flip cup or a messy pour so I'm using straight Floetrol, Oetrol mixed with my paint no silicone nothing else except for just a teensy bit of water and um, next I thought I'd throw a, a blue in there and that is Cerulean Blue by Golden. Really lovely. So, uh, I think this is quite runny too, but we'll see. We shall give it a go. The next colour is this. It's actually, do you know what? It looks pink. It looks like a, a metallic-y metallic pink. It is Iridescent Violet Blue by PBO. Amazing colour. So, um, next colour. I just hope I've got enough now. I think I will. This is Amsterdam Acrylics Specialities Deep Gold. Can't, can't not have some gold. So that's that lovely gold. It's better when I need another light from in here. So yeah, those are our colours. They're all varied consistencies. Um, so just bear with me. I don't know whether to start with a thicker one to get a, a swirly, a swirly bit down. And then obviously you turn this over put it on, push gently and 
steel torch and to end up with something amazingly beautiful so we will we will start with the permanent red violet i'm wondering if this is maybe too thick i don't know let's go with it i've seen people put it on they use their sticks to put the swirls on i'm trying to think if there's a way of actually pouring it without snapping my cup Um, I was going to mix these in my little tiny silicone cups that I use for resin. Right, let's let's give it a go. Let's see if we can't. Just. Too bad. Every time I bring the cup this way, I'm trying to see to make sure there's still paint coming out. The other ones are going to be really done. Oh, and we will come on, paint. This was quite a thick mix. This one, come on. Sorry if my head's in the way of the camera. As it probably is, yes, and you'll be need my roots done. Excuse my hair. So that's that. Mm, next colour. Oh, I don't know if I should just put it on with a stick. But that's do you know what? We'll just pour. Okay, next colour is the gold. Ooh. <sighs> Do you know what? It's not going to be perfect the first time. But that's okay does not matter because it's still going to be beautiful bit of heat in there but we can work with that okay this one is really runny i don't think we're going to have an issue probably too runny it's lovely Obviously, we're running out of room because the paint has started to spread. Yeah, that's a lot runnier. And as you can see, everything's starting to spread. That's fine. I'm going to carry this little line on to here. It's never going to be right the first time, said no person ever. I don't know whether to put this blue now. Just because we've been using and there's quite a big gap in that white bit. Do you know what? We'll put the blue. Mix it up a bit. Trying to stay on track. Oh my swirl. I think we've missed one. Ah. It's cool. Don't panic. Okay. That's fine. Next colour is this 
pink but not pink. Metallic pink but not metallic pink. And we've definitely run out of room now. I didn't see this happen on the other one I watched. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Just gonna go with the flow. All the colours have mingled together. But that's fine. Okay. Definitely. Do you know what? We're just going to go for it. So there is our swirly swirl. Now this is the really fun bit. I don't know, should I torch first or after? I can't remember. Because there's bubbles. We'll just give it a teensy torch. Okay, this is it, people. Oh. Trying to get it. It's on. <laughs> it's sliding. Stay there. Okay. And the colour is coming out. I think. Holy moly. Let's stop sliding. I think I used too much paint. I'm just going to make the most of this situation. It's all coming out from the side. That's interesting. I'm going to just try and Do something with this. Right, we're lifting very slowly. I taped my bag. Mm, scared to turn it over now. Oh, well. <laughs> it could be worse and it could be better um not what i expected i'm going to put this here that's really different sorry if i'm slightly off camera Here we are. I think it, it looks good. I, I'm happy with that. It doesn't matter. I think maybe I'll have to revise this and use less paint the next time. I think I had too much white. When I pushed down, all squidged. My only hope for this now is it dries perfectly. It's a very unusual looks like a like a chunky feather or a really funky flower um i don't know what do we all think i'm not going to touch the sides i'm going to just quickly torch it again <laughs> Get rid of all these bubbles there are cells popping up and obviously I think what people do is they leave this to dry or I might obviously go off camera. I hope you've all had fun watching this. It was fun to do. Completely not what I expected. Um, 
it's it's a learning curve um and i will pop back on hopefully in a few days when it's a little bit drier and put up a picture um anyway guys enjoy the rest of your night take care from me wherever you are bye